Now, field service is, is comprised mainly from a, a work order perspective, but I'll explain a little bit of how it works here. I can initiate a work order various ways. I can just have a work order created, right? I, I go in and somebody requests a work order be created, I create that in the system and, and go through the process. I also can initiate it from a case, and that's what we'll do today. You'll see a, a call that has come inbound, and I'm going to actually initiate that work order from taking that call or, or initiating that case as well. Or maybe I want to go do an install after we sold something, so it could be done from an opportunity too. You really can initiate that work order kickoff from anywhere within the system. After that, the, the work order gets created, and, and the work order is comprised of a couple different components. And, some of those are service tasks, products, and services. So a service task, think of that as the things I need to do when I go out on site to, to complete this. I might have to test something, I may have to install something, I may have to um, do a report at the end, get a signature, whatever those kinds of things are. That's, that's what you classify as a service task. Products are, are actually inventory items that I'm going to use when I'm out in the field. So if I have to replace a cable or something like that, I can pull that out of my inventory on my truck and actually do that. And then services are if it's an hourly type of, of function and multiple people tied into it. So as my role as a solution architect, I may have a certain bill rate that takes up certain hours when I'm out in the field. So really, those all comprise the incident type, which is tied on to the work order. So essentially, that allows me to create that work order off of the incident type on the fly. And really, on the work order itself, as a dispatch or someone who creates it, I don't have to do much. The system after looks the system looks after the, all of that for me as well. From there, we'll schedule the work order. So that will then be scheduled out to a resource in the field. And then after that, we'll uh, actually perform the work out in the field on a mobile device where I'm updating that information from a technician perspective. After that piece, when the technician has closed that work order, it's going to typically come back into dispatch or somebody even from customer service. They're going to review it actually post that work order and that may initiate a, an invoice to be created and maybe sent back to your ERP system or something along those lines.